guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Schoonder Fam. You don't know, it's the girl Stacy, and I'm back with another video. Before I get into the video, I just want to wish my dad a happy birthday. So February 27th was my dad's birthday. Dad, I hope you had a really, really, really great birthday. And I wish I could celebrate your big day with you unfortunately we couldn't i love you so much and i cannot wait to see you this video is about five things i miss about jamaica and five things i don't miss so if you want to know my five things stick around i'm going to start off with the things i miss the most i have some notes right here so the first thing i miss is definitely my family and friends oh my gosh i haven't seen my family in about four years um the last time i saw them was back in 2018 um you know how the world was with um covid and travel restrictions and the vaccines and all of that um i think if it wasn't for like covid I could have gone back to see them. I really miss them so much. Um, and I really hope I get to see them soon because it's just hard to be in a whole different country for so long without seeing the people you grew up with. Like, it's not easy. And I miss my friends also, even though I don't really communicate with them like every single day. The second thing I miss about Jamaica is the weather, like the warmth, the sunshine. I know it can get super hot sometimes, but I know it doesn't get like cold. It kind of get a bit chilly in December, but not com like it's not even compared to here like <laughs> this weather especially in the fall and winter um your body can go through something called seasonal affective disorder so when that hits you you feel like tired lousy um depressed you you're, you feel down you feel like so emotional like i remembered when i first got here like we call it sad like sad hit me so hard i was like wondering what was going on and i didn't know really much about it and then as the years goes by i realized that every time around winter time i feel this way and the reason why all of this is happening is because we barely get any sunlight in the winter. So yeah, that vitamin D is important and I wish I could get some sun like right now. I cannot wait for spring and summer to come because I am struggling. And I do get emotional sometimes for no reason. Sometimes I'm here with Tim and I like start crying for no reason and like Tim would ask me like what is going on and there's nothing going on I'm just sad the third thing I miss about Jamaica is the food OMG like the Escovish fish the jerk chicken the jerk pork the breadfruit oh my gosh the Akian saltfish or Aki with fried pork was like some of, like those foods were like some of my favorite foods when i was there like we can get the same foods here but it just doesn't taste the same it doesn't taste authentic and i really and truly miss those foods and i also miss the fact that um i could go in my backyard for produce so i could go there and get yam, breadfruit, plantains, banana, orange, mango, lime, you name it, it's grown in my backyard. 
I just miss the fact that we had our, we raised our own chicken, you know. It takes out about six weeks for them to be fully grown and ready to be slaughtered. And I just miss that. Cause right now, everything is just like um, genetically modified here. And it's not the same thing. Like, I just miss going in my backyard and like pick an orange and just eat it. Here, every single thing you want, you have to like buy it at the store. It's just kind of sad. The last thing I miss about Jamaica is the beach. Even though I did not go to the beach a whole lot, the few times I've been, it was just amazing. The water is like so nice. Um, I remember when I was there, um, I went on a couple of beach trips. So we would gather a few people from the community. We would get a bus and like drive like two hours down to like Montego Bay, Negril or Ocho Reyes and just go to the beach and then we would go clubbing after <laughs> and we wouldn't like get home until like 5 a.m. in the morning like it was crazy and it was so much fun and I really really miss that here I wouldn't even call some of these beaches beach it's like more of a lake and um it's just not the same now we're gonna go into five things i do not miss in jamaica like this is my opinion you don't have to agree with it but it's just five things i really don't miss um i don't miss like all that's happening there right now like the crime back in 2018 of january before I came here, my friend, my classmate, <laughs> my buddy, like, <laughs> I used to hang out with this girl every single day um, for like two or three years. She was brutally murdered in her home. Like, someone came in and they killed her. And after that incident, I just didn't feel safe there anymore. She was 18 years old and she was killed. Even now, we didn't, we don't know the motive. We don't know who did it. Um, but yeah, after that happened, I didn't feel safe. I just felt like somebody was always after the group of us that used to hang out and it wasn't a good feeling and um i just want to say may her soul rest in peace and it, it's just a really sad way to lose a friend i even remembered one night like my mom you know raised goats and all of that one night someone came and just took them like that's the way it is if you're if you have cows or goats or chicken or anything and someone sees it and wants it they take it and sometimes if you get in the way they'll kill you and that's just the way it is and I really don't miss that another time again I was in the city in Kingston City with my friend we were like going through downtown Kingston and she had on a bracelet right so um she saw someone she knew and she stopped to talk to them. So I was kind of like at the side waiting. And then two guys passed and they were checking her out and they were just smiling. But I was kind of confused on why they were like looking at her because I'm pretty sure we didn't know the guy or the guys. And then um, as soon as she was done talking to her friend, they came up to her and just grabbed her bracelet just like that if they see something on you that they want they take it earrings bracelet necklaces you name it they take it and it's just sad sometimes you like go to collect money from like um a money gram or a western union and people just watch you and steal it like could be walking with your phone they grab your phone like i know these things just don't happen in jamaica 
but peaking about Jamaica right now and I'm just telling you guys that I really don't miss those things. The next thing I don't miss is you gotta like know people sometimes to get jobs. So let's say I'm qualified and my friend's not, but my friend knows someone who works in the company. She's most likely to get the job over me because she knows somebody there. And um, there's not much jobs there and there's a lot of people struggling. And sometimes you go to school for like four or five years and when you're done, you, there's nothing there for you to do like absolutely nothing and it's just not fair to go through school all that stress spend that you know long sum of money and when you're done you're expecting to you know get something in your field and there's nothing there the next thing on my list that i do not miss is jealous people like some people when you're trying to do good for yourself they're not happy for you like i know me coming here trying to start life for myself people were not happy because if it's not their kids or if it's not their family they're not happy for your success um sometimes they get so jealous that they they kill you over it let's say i'm just giving you an example let's say this person knows that someone is gonna fly out like next week to go to the states and they don't like that they will kill the person before they leave before they get the chance to leave so sometimes you just gotta pack up and go and not tell anyone because the more people know it's the less chance you have to go after your dreams so yeah like domestic violence um, against women. So you could be getting beaten, like women could be getting abused. And when they report it there, it's like nothing is done about it. Like the, the police doesn't do anything about it really. And I've seen it so many times and it just bothers me. Like here, the simple thing you do just slap a woman you could just slap somebody and you'll get charged for it and i wish it was the same thing there and the last thing i don't miss is like taxi drivers posing as criminals but sometimes you go in the city you don't know you just have like you just go in a taxi like you don't know which one are like real taxis from not real taxis because they're not labeled you could just get a car and start transporting people as a taxi driver so there you could go in a taxi and you could get killed kidnapped raped so if you don't know you just don't know you just have to try your best to be safe out there i hope you guys enjoyed this video and honestly that's just five things i don't miss and five things i miss I hope you guys like, share, and please hit that subscribe button. Hit that red subscribe button below the video. That would mean so much to me and Tim. Don't forget to share with your friends. And um, I'll see you guys the next time. Bye. <laughs>